Well, here we are at Camp Cabell on Lake Huron, and I wanted you all to see the waves that are out here. And I know once I get down there, the wind's going to ruin how the microphone uh, is able to pick up sound. So I'll talk up here, and then we'll head down. But as you can see, I'll zoom in for you from here. They're rolling way out there. They're losing a lot of their energy because the lake is so shallow right now. Our beach or that lake area is very shallow all the way out. So the waves are hitting the bottom on the way in and losing a lot of the power. They'd be way up here in the middle of the lake, taking away a lot of our sand. We are working to take a lot of our sand away right now. If you look at uh, where we're losing some sand right there and some depth, but not too bad. Luckily, uh, that shallow lake is stopping that action. So I'll go on down and show you a little bit. The waves all the way out on the lake, out on Lake Huron, way out in the middle, are uh, going to be up to about 16, 18 feet high, maybe even in the 20s. Um, phenomenal waves. We're only getting the edges of them because the waves are actually blowing to the south. And uh, these are sort of wraparound from the ends of those big waves being drug on shore and uh, swinging in and coming towards us. But we usually don't see white caps or waves rolling way out that far that are uh, basically dragging the bottom because they're so big and falling over. And that's where you get those white caps when the waves start to come into the shallow and they drag. It sounds pretty good down here. It's pretty thunderous. We go out to the pier in a minute with those are waves raking. This is just, uh, the winds are supposed to be about 30 miles an hour today, going up into the 40s, just up to the 50s, high 50s uh, tonight and in the morning. So if you can get some pictures done too. It's a good picture and a big wave came up and just totally flooded my head. They're coming from a couple of different directions and they're actually hitting into each other and going up into the air. And down below the health cabin, trying to get back out of the wind so I can stay steady enough to get some pictures of these waves. See them rolling out there. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get wet again. I'm trying to hide down here next to the pier so you can hear what's going on and see these waves coming at us. There's some big ones out there. Whoa, back up a little. <laughs> well, I guess I'm pretty wet anyway right now, so it wouldn't matter too much if my boots get wet anymore. Oh, look at those waves curling out there. Lots of power. You can see that the waves are coming at us, but the wind is actually blowing to the right or to the south and blowing the tops right off of them. These waves are really rolling towards Port Huron out in the middle of the lake, and they're going to get to be 16 to 20 feet high. But 
actually what happens is the edge of the waves that are headed towards Port Huron are dragging in our shallows over here and it spins them around and drags them and makes them curve and come in towards us straight in. Whoa, there's more water. See if we can zoom back out there again and focus. Focus for you way out there on some of those far ones. Look at those coming in. See the wind blowing? The tops of them laid off. They're also coming from two different directions now because the wind shifted a little bit. So it's getting really confusing out there as to what direction those waves are really traveling. I sure wouldn't want to be a ship out on the Great Lakes today. We're talking about even maybe topping 20 miles an hour. Or 20 feet. I'm sorry. 20 feet and 50 miles an hour. Now I'm really like, ah! <laughs> okay, back it up. <laughs> Windchill's making it cold down here. We're right next to the tree. The edge of our lake shore isn't being affected too much. You see the opening to the stream there. Because the lake is so shallow now, it's gone down probably a couple, at least a foot just in, it seems like, since summer. And it's made it very shallow out there. And the waves are hitting that shallow area and tripping and losing all their energy before they hit shore. It is washing up a ways up the beach, but I don't think we're going to lose much sand. It's not going to tear at the beach like it has in other past big episodes like this. 